Cupcake in the Pub Sports Radio Top 25 Cupcake Countdown is a absolutely to die for cupcake, sort of like the basketball program that we're going to talk about right now. Look at that on the screen. You see that cookie and creams cupcake? You want one. I want two. And you know what else I want? I want some Texas Tech basketball. Let's go, Red Raiders. Chris Beard may be gone, but Mark Adams has taken over the reins, and he is going to lead this Lubbock, Texas program to ATS over under profitability for us and not the books. And I'll tell you why. This is a team that has forest fire type temperature right now. It's hot. Don't go near it. I'm telling you. You know why? Because Coach Beard may have, may have left the program, but the talent remains. The talent came in. Look at the screen. Look at those three additions. Those are top quality talents that can thrive in the upper echelon of the Big 12. So first off, let's salute Coach Adams on the great job on the transfer market. The outlook for the roster could not look any better. Not only is he bringing back Tanner Shannon and Kevin McCullough, who could take over the reins and really dominate offensively for this team, they brought in guys that can play positionless basketball. You do not need to play your traditional one through five. You can have four or five guys that can guard all five positions on the floor, and that's what you have when you bring in Kevin O'Banner, who we watched with amazement play for Oral Roberts in the NCAA tournament, and then Bryson Williams. So anybody who's down in Texas, you know about Bryson. You know what he does. So, But I'll say this. This is a team that definitely had ATS troubles last year, and I don't blame it. I don't blame them. You know, you have Mac McClung as your leader, and uh, if you if you know me, you know I don't like Mac McClung. So I think that we're looking for a reversal of fortune. We're looking for Texas Tech to become a bet on team and a very top heavy Big 12 this year as well. I think they're going to revert back to profitability. They have lots of size, uh, lots of mismatches for opposing defenses. The one big question that we're going to have and we're not going to see until they play some serious games that are on video is team chemistry, you know, and if they can, if they can, create that early it's going to determine a lot of their success for us betting wise when i look at this texas tech team you know i look last year the type of defense i looked at how they did against ranked opponents i'm like yeah like i don't think that's something that's going to hold on with this roster and these types of mismatches that their personnel is going to present to the opponent i think that we're going to have to look for spots that we think that they can route and there's going to be a whole bunch of them at home uh, early on in the non-conference. The other way I want to play this Texas Tech team is I want to hit them in the first half's ATS. I want to hit full game unders because what do we know about route spots? Route spots sometimes turn into full game unders. A team dominates, takes their foot off the pedal offensively, still brings the same defensive pedigree. And that's something that we probably should ex expect from this experienced uh, Texas Tech team. So I think that when you look at spots that you really want to try and catch them as a small money line dog, they only have two of them. That's Providence and the Tennessee game. But it's going to be determined by point guard play. A lot of things in college basketball is determined by point guard play. If you do not have a true point guard, a guy that can get up and down the floor, a guy that can use his speed, change his tempos based off what the situation in the game is and what his team needs to get that next spark, well, Malik Wilson from the University of Louisiana was the right guy to bring in. And with Malik Wilson... His point guard play is going to determine a lot of how far this Texas Tech Red Raider, Red Raider team can get. And with him, it's going to be a step up in competition, but he should thrive in an up and down off uh, offensive tempo that is going to go fast. 
He's a guy that can play on or off the ball. He's going to attack the rim. He's going to use his length to force turnovers on defense. And with his blistering speed getting back on defense, you know, you're not going to give up a ton of transition layups. And that's the worst thing that you want to see when you're betting full game unders is transition layups that are uncontested. Well, with Malik Wilson running at the point, I don't think that Texas Tech is going to have that problem. And that is why I'm looking at their game on December. December 1st at Providence as a game that they can step up and that they can come in and win. I think Providence is going to be probably a three and a half point favorite. I'd be looking to take Texas Tech on the money line if I get plus 130, plus 140, and I would take them the plus three and a half. So we're looking for a dog that's going to win outright. And this is a dog in Texas Tech that can cash for us. So like a cookie and creams cupcake, it's delicious. You want another one. And I wish we had a bunch of these spots, but we just have the two. So let's enjoy that cookies cream cupcake. Like we're hopefully going to enjoy a Providence upset at home. Let's get it. Texas Tech Raider, Red Raider style. The next cupcake in the Pub Sports Radio Top 25 Cupcake Countdown is one of the most delicious cupcakes in the history of cupcakes. Strawberries and cream, the cupcake. Take that in. Look at how that strawberry is sliced. Look at how that cream is put on top of that cupcake. You want one like I want to see the Texas Longhorns take the goddamn court. Chris Beard is home, baby. He's taking over the Longhorns. Shaka Smart, take your ass to Marquette because we got a real coach now. And I'll tell you, Chris Beard has brought in a delight of transfers to help him turn this Texas Longhorn program around and bring them a national championship win, or at least a Final Four appearance. So, obviously, we know that this is a huge move for Texas to get this type of coach. And when I talk about the team temperature of Texas, it's like an atomic bomb type heat. That's how hot it is in Texas. All right. And if you're a Longhorn fan, God damn, you're a lucky son of a bitch that you get to go watch these assholes play. Because when you look at these key additions on the screen, look at that. The Canadian from Toronto, Ontario. My guy, Marcus Carr, got out of Minnesota, got to a winning program, got to a coach that can take him to the next level. And that's what Chris Beard is going to do. Then you got Trey Mitchell, one of the most dominant big men in the A-10. And then you got Timothy Allen from Utah, who is just a slice and dicer. Athleticism out the freaking yin-yang. That's not even it. Christian Bishop, Devin Askew, Dylan Disu. So the names just go on and on for Texas. And the great thing about this Texas team, which there's video, there's interviews about, there is going to be chemistry. There's going to be good chemistry because every player that's on this Texas Longhorn team knows it's not about my numbers. It's about one thing. It's about winning. We've collected, we've come together, and now we have one goal. And it doesn't matter who starts. It doesn't matter how many how many minutes you play or how many points you score. As long as we win every game, that is what Texas Longhorn basketball is now about. And this is a team that literally can go 10 deep. So people are going to have to sacrifice their stats, their shots, their minutes, and they're all going to have to do it for the cause of winning the NCAA. So Chris Beard's going to work his magic, guys. Plain and simply. There's lots of high expectations. And there's really only two true tests during the non-conference against Gonzaga and against Seton Hall. So they have to play, they have to take on the aura, the mentality that Mark View has going with Gonzaga. It's everybody is selfless. It's everybody give, everybody get, everybody give, everybody get. That's the way that Gonzaga wins. That's the way that Texas wants to play with this kind of talent on the roster. Everybody's going to have a night. 
doesn't have to be your night every night. So obviously with a team like Texas, we know last year, this was a very bad ATS team at home, not profitable. They were not good to you in, I would say some of the biggest conference games also when they were a favorite as a dog, it's a different story, but with this kind of talent, I think that there's going to be a lot of nights where they shoot in the 60s. And that means team total overs. And if you can get a number that's under 80 in a Texas Longhorn game, you probably want to jump on that. And they're going to be a good 20-point favorite. You can look at the schedule. There are a lot of cupcakes, a lot of strawberry and cream cupcakes. We're going to be getting fat, all right? We're going to be having to go into the gym. But we're going to be freaking having our pockets full of cash while we do it. So obviously there is a definite group of guys I can talk about when it comes to the player to watch. But I think that when you run a team like this and an offensive scheme that Chris Beard is going to run, you want to be able to go inside on every possession down the floor and being able to throw it down to a guy like Trey Mitchell. That's the kind of guy that you want to have on the court. I think that with Trey Mitchell, he's going to be able to take advantage of the fact that Dylan Disu is going to be out, I think, for a week or two with injury. But this is a guy in Trey that can, he has range, he can get to the rim, he's a high percentage two-point scorer, he can give you some rim protection, he can go crash the offensive glass, and... When you give him minutes, you know, you're going to get production. That's what we learned to love watching Mike McCall's team at UMass. And I think that a game that you really want to look at jumping on Texas is a game that ordinarily would be a big rivalry in football. I don't know really how big it is in basketball, but they're going to be playing Stanford. It's going to be on a neutral court. I'm looking for Texas for a number less than 12 and a half. And I'll be jumping on that. I'll be going five units on and I'll be going max play the day on it because that is a game that I think Texas is going to fuck with their goddamn eyes open. So look for a Texas line less than 12 and a half. Look for a team total less than 76 and a half. And hopefully we can get a dub with the Longhorns. Okay, get your goddamn strawberries and cream cupcake and get your Texas Longhorn profits.